This video is for a 2003 Holiday Rambler 36WDD. Just want to walk around the outside showing its exceptional condition. This is truly a great find. This unit has a driver's side door. That is super nice. It's got slide toppers. This is a feature I personally like. I've got a bad back, so I like the feature of having the, the storage that slides out with the slide out so you don't have to dig underneath. This is just a great coach. It's got window awnings. Just walking around this thing, it's sitting on a workhorse chassis on an 8.1 with an Allison transmission. Does have a Weather Pro awning. The only fault I can give it is this window must have lost its seal and got some condensation in it. We are going to replace that, so don't worry about that. But that's really the only thing I can fault on the outside. Just really in great shape. It's got three steps coming outside, nice big grab handle. When you walk on the interior, the carpet has been replaced, so it's got a good fresh look to it. It's about the year that people would replace it. When you walk on the interior of this unit, it just really jumps at you that this is super clean. Very nice. The couches, there's no stains on the couches. You come over to the dinette area, there's no scratches on the dinettes, there's no stains on the seats. Uh, no water smells, no pet odors, no smoke odors. Just an extremely clean unit all the way through. This chair is not standard. We're thinking about pulling it out because it just doesn't quite fit there. Uh, you come in the front, it's got a cloth seating. Um, again, there's a little scuff here on the back of a seat. I did see that, but the seats themselves are nice and clean. You know, definitely no major wear on the seating. Uh, it does have electric leveling jacks, 45,000 miles on it. Just notice it's got a full tank of gas, so there's a couple hundred bucks on one of these babies. It's got a rear camera, CB, it's got a front mounted TV up here. Um, just an absolutely gorgeous unit. These are flex steel seats, just very well thought out units. You've got a computer desk here with, with storage underneath, so when you're going down the road, you're, you know, whoever's sitting in the pasture seat can sit back, relax, enjoy the ride. Great cabinetry inside these units, so if you, if you take a look, you know, it's got nice solid oak cabinetry. You come over to the kitchen, this is a very well thought out design. You've got a double door refrigerator, probably around 12 cubic feet. Um, does have an ice maker in it. It's got a double bowled sink, um, three burner cooktop stove, convection microwave. It has an oven. A lot of units today do not have ovens. Now what you'll notice as you come over here, and this is why I said it was very well thought out great cabinet space. I mean this is awesome. You come over here you've got tons of cabinet space, place to put your silverware, you know, maybe even a couple extra plates or pots and pans. So just a fantastic uh, uh, area that's very well thought out. Here's the thing, if you want to take and take and move that front TV and bring it back to the back, that's something that could be done because there's enough room here with the new flat panels you could probably drop in a TV in this area so wouldn't that be cool? Look on the flooring here, they've changed the flooring, so this that's a great sign of ownership. You know, there's users and owners. When you come in, you see new carpet, new flooring. That is an owner's decision. They decided, hey, I like this camper well enough that I'm going to go and put the money back into it. Those are great signs when you're looking for a used coach as, a pair, as opposed to somebody that just uses a coach. You walk through the back here, again, you've got a nice queen size bed, tons of storage back here, just lots of things to, to really go and, 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 and be able to have a great coach. There's a TV back here, that might be a little bit outdated, I don't know. Uh, if you have a satellite, then, then not, but I think I would go ahead and replace that. Again, great cabinetry, nice wardrobe here, you come back over to the back here. Again, another huge wardrobe. There's, this camper is not lacking in space whatsoever. Um, you come back. Let's go back to the bathroom area. Separated toilet. Great idea. You don't have to uh, uh, disturb everybody else with your business back here. You come over. You've got a one-piece fiberglass shower. Another solid surface uh, countertops and por porcelain or not solid surface sinks and everything. This does not have a washer and dryer, but it's got all the hookups inside if you do want to put in a washer and dryer so this is ready to go and, and unlike a lot of coaches where you put in a washer and dryer and you lose all your uh, you lose all your space in the back this one still has tons and tons of room this is a very well thought out coach lots of space to put things 
um, just a great deal over buying something new. You know, you go out and pay uh, on a new one. I, I, I don't, I'm not sure of the price, but I'm sure they're getting up over 150 grand. This is nowhere near that price, folks. This is a great coach. This is a coach that was traded in. This is not something that we bought out of repo sale. This was a trade in. Um, definitely something you'll want to see. If you have any questions, please give me a call. My phone number is 888-310-7744. This is truly a coach to see. Please come out and take a peek. If you do stop in, it takes a long time to put these videos together out on YouTube. Please, please ask for Internet Mike. It's how I make my living, so I appreciate it if you ask for me. Again, www.gtwrv.com. And my email address is mike at gtwrv.com. Give me a buzz. Send me an email. Let's get together on this coach. 888-310-7744. Ask for Internet Mike.